Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY. And today we have a service call for a two pipe fan coil unit. Thank you, it's everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. We have no display on the thermostat and this thing looks horrendous. We got the covers missing off. They said the fan motor was just replaced and possibly one of the relays. What is going on here? This looks crazy. Here's our thermostat. Nothing, no display. Literally opened up the cover, it was like this. We have one light there, but that might be your fire relay. This uh, commercial building. So, this is the thermostat coming in. This is the actuator. This is the fan. This right here is the power coming in. One wire is taped off. Oh wow, this one, look at this wire right here. That might be live, who knows? I wanna make sure there's power coming in. No display, the first thing you wanna do is check for power. So the white wire here, and then the black here, let's check between these two. Just took out this wire nut, but let's just check from here to ground. Not this one. No volts. Switch right there. Okay, right there, we got 120 to ground. Switch was off. All right, let's turn that off and put that back on and see what's going on. I got that back on. There's something there. All right, I just turned it back on. No lights here. Let's go check out that thermostat. No display. See what's going on all right black and white so black is l and then we have n all the way there let's check between that 13 volts ac i've never even heard of such a thing 13 volts and this is a 120 volt thermostat how do we have that you know what's crazy i just what i just realized we don't even have a transformer in that unit how do we have 13 volts 13.2, what do we have here? 120, 47, we have 47 volts. What? Nah, these are not even real voltages. Something's crossed up over there on those relays. I know they cross up the coils on the relays and somehow they, they made a problem here. That's beautiful. So here's our thermostat thing harness so if, here's the black wire right our, our white jeez even though the white is supposed to go to neutral that goes into the relay and then the black goes into this relay when this is supposed to go to line and this is supposed to go to neutral like directly and what is this? There's like a little random thermostat. Like it like leaves, it goes down there. I can't see what that is. I got a light on. I'm thinking this is for the fire. This is like a fire cable, but why? I think this whole thing is not wired properly. What's this? So this is the like, I guess, white cable. What is that? This whole thing is just like a mess. How do you rewire this? There's no diagrams, nothing for this thing. <clears throat> I don't really work, I, mean, I don't deal with too many line voltage thermostats. Okay. Uh, so the power is off. Man, this is nuts. We're gonna have to really figure this out. 
I don't even know what all these things are for, the way they did it, man. It's not good. It's supposed to be our line right here. And then neutral, I'm supposed to go to neutral. Just cover that. Let's, let's at least get line voltage set up over there. All right, so I just connected line voltage. Let's see if we got a display on the thermostat. Let's see what wires were behind that because it's wire nutted. So let's check between line and neutral again. You see, we have 121 volts now. Before we had, well, we had uh, 13 volts there. So of course there would be no display. So let's see. All right, let's get this thermostat on here. Something yeah. right there, room temp. We just got the okay, we got the room temp. System is off. Let's put in cool. I hear a noise, and the noise went down. These are weird, they like start at a different speed or something, unless they wired it wrong. Okay. All right, the fan is running in low speed. Look at that. Here's the actuator. Actuator is closed. Great, all right, well, we got low speed to run. All right, all right, Christian, set, the, set it to medium speed. Medium speed. Back down where this thing blows up. All right, we got medium speed, a lot of vibration. All right, high speed. And we got high speed. All right, low speed. All right, leave it at that. All right. So we got display on the thermostat back and we got the three fan speeds. That's good. Where is our cooling? All right, so we got three fan speeds and display, but we are now in cooling season. We have no cooling. So I need to look into the wiring here from the thermostat, figure out who's who. I know it's that brown wire. And we also have, if you look up top, the, connected to those blue wires, the blue, white, and red, those are two pipe sensors. So depending on the temperature of the pipe, you'll know if you should energize the emergency electric heat or whatever. So it's, it depends. It's a two pipe fan coil system, but we are in cooling mode. So chiller, I believe should be on. So let's see. Well, we could put our hand on the pipe and see. All right, my guy's about to put it in cooling. And he's gonna lower the thermostat. So this is our wire for cooling. It's in cooling? Yeah. Got nothing. Actuator's closed. Maybe that's the wrong wire. Can you put in heating? Got it. We got nothing on this wire. That actually might be heat. I think it's weird. It's like a quick fan speed and it comes down. Let's put in heat and raise the thermostat. Oh, we got 120. Oh, it's opening up. Okay. It's definitely cold, we're definitely in cooling mode. Okay. But when we put it on heat, it energizes. So that might be the wrong wire. There was one more wire, which was the yellow one. So right now, that one, we got 120. And wait, what's this? This this probably got nothing. Nothing. Uh Chris, put it in cooling and lower the thermostat. Got it. This might be the trigger wire for cooling from the thermostat. Alright. It's in cooling? Put the system off. 
Okay. All right, leave it like that for now. Let's turn off the power. Let's switch that. So. This is the black wire for our actuator. Neutral goes to neutral. So we're gonna just use the thermostat as like your relay. So as soon as you call for cooling, it's just gonna open up that actuator like just like right away basically. So that's what we're gonna get for now. Just at least get this unit working. This is insane. And now we can figure out what to do, how to wire in those pipe sensors and everything. So the emergency electrical heat works for, or I could just write for cooling, I can set it up here. And maybe if they have that, that heat wire setting, I could just run that to the electrical heat relay coil. If it's a 120 volt coil. And then I should be able to get both to work actually. So power's off. This was the heating wire it looked like but the yellow was cooling. So let's switch that and see what we can do. This is a very tricky, difficult call. All right, we're about to put this system in cooling. There we go, valve is opening. Got low speed. All right, we got cooling. We got to put all this stuff back though, all these covers. All right, so electric heat. I know that is an electric heat relay. Let's see, coil is 120 volts I can read. This side is the coil because I know the thick wires is for the heater itself. So one side should go to neutral. Yep, one side goes to neutral, white. And then this red one is gonna be the hotline. Comes in through this pipe sensor, but this whole thing is wired wrong. So for now, oh, this thing came right loose. So now what I wanna do is, we call for cooling right now in this season. It's gonna automatically open up, go straight to that actuator, open up the chilled water, done. That works. Got the three fan speed, that works. Now when we call for heating, it's gonna just directly energize this heat relay because the boiler is not on. It's only a two pipe system, so you can't have heating and cooling at the same time. It's one or the other. Right now you're in cooling mode. So the actuator is gonna produce the chilled, is gonna open up the chilled water. That's how we get cooling. But as far as heating right now, we can just, as soon as that 120 volts comes out and set the thermostat it's going to energize the coil on this relay and then send line voltage to the heat and this is that wire right here i believe so we're going to test it all right we got the meter across the large wire right there that's for the heater chris let's turn on the heat yeah. and raise the thermostat Let's see if we pull amps. I just heard a little click. No amps, huh? So let's check across the coil. Should have 120. I heard something click. All right, we got the 120. So my wiring was good. Now, are we sending across voltage? We should have zero volts across, right? So that's just our, how be our hot wire. And we have 120. One leg to ground, 120. And the other, nothing. Looks like we got a bad relay. Uh, Chris. Yeah. Turn off the heating. All right. 
Looks like we got a bad relay. Right here, I put a jumper cable across the line. Let's see if we get amps. Right there, we got amps. See, eight amps. Let me turn that off because the fan should be running to cool down the element. All right. Bad relay. Coil energizer. I mean, we have 120 volts to it and it just, it doesn't send the power through. So it's a bad relay. I have a brand new relay right here. 120 volt coil, single pole, single throw, normally open. And it's good for 18 amps. That's it right there. And we're gonna be replacing that one. All right, I got the shortest screws I can find. Cause there's an electrical heater up there. I don't wanna strip that thing and damage it. Let's see right there. Okay. Thing is, the screws are facing downwards, so I would have to take out this whole panel, but so we're just gonna have to leave that in its place. And it is what it is. There's gonna be no power going into it, nothing's gonna happen. Just need to know that it's bad. So let's get this one in. There we go. From there, we just literally just transfer over the wires. And there you have it. Okay, from here, what I wanna do is, let's get this cover back on because we know the fan is good. All right, let's try this again. Let's put the system on heat and raise the thermostat. Put the fan cover back on too. running right there you see we got amps now okay that's great All right, we got 91.2 degrees here and it is slowly climbing so we definitely have heat awesome from here we're gonna switch it up and test the cooling all right guys, we switched it to cooling. We got 58.3 and dropping. All right guys, we're gonna wrap it up from here. It's gonna be a nightmare putting all these covers back on, but it is what it is. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.